Okay, everybody, we are doing a review today on the Elite Carbon Era. There's a new era. Dun, dun. Heavy stuff. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a Carbon Elite. But not it, that heavy. Not that heavy, yeah. So, some of the Carbon bows out there don't look like the Carbon, like, like the lineage of the bow, right? The Elite did an awesome job of making a Carbon bow that looks like an Elite. Like, if you see it on a shelf, you're like, oh, it's an Elite Bridge Riser. Yeah, Elite. Okay. 3.95 pounds. Set technology. Improved little rubber dampies here. That uh, was from the Omnia. Did they have these? I think. That oh. was the, the Envision had those on Oh, okay. Yeah. But the bow, so if you've shot an Omnia and you haven't shot an Era, the Omnia is dead. This bow this much more in the hand a tiny bit there um in hand shock but same camps same smooth draw same speed same ability to change the three mods out set technology super adjustable yeah this has awesome. been a really hyped up bow mm -hmm. for us so we got the demo in which is not technically the demo it's just the one that they kind of sent us first that one did not last very long. Mm -mm. Uh, this one is the first of a couple that I have ordered. Uh, yeah. We just got it in like two days ago, so we figured we'd just throw up a review before we sold it. Yeah. Um, and Joe has memorized the specs for us, so he can tell you what those are right now. And by memorize, he means I'm going to look at the tag. <laughs> so we got a brace height, seven and a quarter. That's a good brace height. Awesome brace height. Axle to axle, 31 and a quarter. That's a number two. Draw length. <laughs> 25 and a half to 31, which is most people, except for Cam. Uh, mass weight, 395, we covered that. IBO speed up to 336. Let off 70 to 90. Draw weights, 40, 50, 60, 65, and 70. And this is a 65, which to me is like the unicorn draw weight. Uh, you can get a lot done with 65 pounds. Yeah. And 336 puts it like as like a like a decently faster side bow. It's not really slow. It's not really fast. It's like it's like upper middle class is yeah. why I would put this bow as far as speed terms. Seven and a quarter brace height. Exactly. On a hunting bow. That is like all the guys out there demanding more brace height for a more accurate hunting bow. Like they don't care about speed. This is your bow. Like they made it. It's great. Um, Sweet hunting bow. I haven't had a chance to like build one of these and shoot it. Hopefully mine will come soon. Uh, and I will build it, do some long range shooting with it, see how it holds at full draw and like how it groups for me. I'm expecting it to be a shooter, even with the small brace height or the, uh, the shorter axle to axle, that big brace height, I think will make up for that and kind of balance out. Hopefully the string angle is good. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get a lot of arrows through one of these soon. Yeah. It's a bow that points super well, even yeah. though it's light when you come to full draw with the thing and actually just looking at it, i don't think i've measured this before but that looks like it might be a deflexed riser if it's not it's slightly reflexed yeah um but the thing just feels like it's a part of you and one of the things that i like to do with deflexed risers and just bows in general to see how well they point is i'll come to full draw and then i'll just kind of go off target real quick aim at something else come back and like how does that bow respond does it just kind of move right with your bow arm or does it kind of like move and then kind of do one of these things like uh, you know, oscillating just a little bit. Oscillation. Oscillation. Yes. So, we just get, oh, go ahead. Just drew this bow, drew this bow back right before we filmed this video, and I was like, "Holy crap, that's smooth!" I'm like, "That is a crazy, like easy, not smooth. It's not a smooth cam. When you put that fast module on there, it's not smooth, but it was easy." Mm -hmm. I just looked, and the limb pockets are turned out pretty much the entire way. So I was probably pulling at 55 pounds. Yeah, that's about three turns on it. Yeah, yeah. So we need to turn this thing up, and then we will get you guys some real-world speed numbers here. Also, two-piece quiver mounts for yeah. those guys that like leaving the quiver on. Yeah. No so. rest mounting options other than oh, your yeah. typical typical burger holes. There's no uh, QAD integrate. There's no core mount or anything like that. I would really like to have seen that. That's like the one thing. If I can, if I can nitpick Elite right now, they're the only one of the only companies producing a bow without a dovetail or a core mount. Like. Come on, guys. It's 2023. Tell you what, though. It is nice on a carbon bow. Let me see this real quick. Yeah, go for it. So we have to compare it to in the shop. Ooh, it's warm. Yeah. <laughs> we I'm have to, to compare this to. We have the Bowtech, and we have the um, the Mach, 
or like the levitate. I like the rear stabilizer position on this. Oh yeah, let me think of that. With the mock and the levitate, it's all the way up here by the string stop and it kind of limits you on what you can put there just because of clearance stuff and you know, it's not far off from a single point of connection if your front bar's here and your back bar is directly behind it. Yeah. This kind of lets you put it a little bit lower, which is where I find most guys want to run their back bars. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's sweet to have that option. Uh, the Bowtech also has that, but it's kind of different with the Bowtech. It's actually built into the limb pocket of that one. So this is this is pretty nice. It's not too low. It's not too high. It's just it's a good. It's you a good kind of dig the metal plate for the sight mounting too. Yeah. Let you go full ugga dugga on your sight screws without worrying without about getting it. weird. Yeah. Yeah, worrying about the carbon. Yeah. And uh, they did yeah. it on the rest as well, which is nice. So. Yeah. Hand laid carbon. So what that means is, and I'm sure you guys have seen the Lancaster reviews because we're way late on our review. That means the way that they designed this riser, they were able to make it stiff in certain areas where it needed stiffness and not as reinforced in other areas where it didn't need stiffness. So it's a way to keep weight down, but also to have a very stiff and reliable feeling riser when you're at full draw. If you ride carbon bicycles, that's a lot what they'll do. They'll like engineer stiffness in one direction and compliance in another direction to make the ride more like supple when you are just riding and then stiffer when you want to sprint or climb a hill to transfer energy better. And I'm sure that's the same thing they did with this to make it as stiff as you can in this direction while not as stiff in this direction to help absorb, to make it less vibrate I guess is the word. Is that a word? vibrate -y? Nope. Give you less vibration. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're going to turn this thing up to 65. We're going to shoot a minimum weight arrow and a couple different arrows at 29, which is what this comes with, with the fast modules, which is what this comes with. Yep. All right, I'm just going to give a couple comments on the draw cycle here. We're trying to limit this part in the video because it's, like Joe says, kind of just like us blabbing. Uh, not smooth. I, I will tell you right now, anytime you're going to get like better speed out of a bow, and this is, it, it's a speed setup with the cam and the module, but it's slower because of the brace height, but it's a, the draw curve is that of a speed bow. So I'll just kind of talk you through it as I'm drawing it back. So it's super easy. And then right here, it just stays like at peak weight for a long time until like here, then there's a big dump which is how every speed bow is going to feel. It does, I mean, it's really, it's not much. It's a little bit more than the Omnia, but when it shoots, it's like really dead. Which is not even something that I typically care about. Like I couldn't, I couldn't really care less about vibration, but I know like that's like the first thing a lot of people talk about is like, oh, it's vibrating. And, the way that Cam says it is, I can shoot the bow, have it vibrate, set it down, it can still be vibrating, and I really don't care. It's the new buzz topic. The... Ba -da 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 -da. I hope you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, this one's it's it's super dead, but yeah, it stacks up quite a lot, and then like even towards like the far end of the draw, and I'm sure that only gets worse for long draw people. It's not bad. It, it's right on par with every other faster, more aggressive style cam out there. You know what you're getting. Yeah, exactly. So uh, let's get some numbers here. Okay, 65 pound bow. This one came in really heavy, so I had to turn it down a little bit. And a 320 grain arrow, so this is minimum weight. arrow length 317 that's good 29 inch straw by the way nice yeah that's solid wait a second math 29 inch straw 60 pounds. Yep, add an inch, add 10 foot per second roughly. It's, I'd say it's shooting just about IBO for us, I guess. Yeah. Which, 
really whatever. Every review I've seen is they've been close. Yeah, that's that's definitely close enough. Yeah. All right, so that was minimum weight arrow. Now we have whatever this arrow is. Three eighty six. Three eighty six. say this one was? Mm, let's go. I don't remember. Four. Dude, I'm too, I many, know. too I... many numbers today, bro. 466 grain arrow. And that's as heavy as I'm going today. Get your life together. Two sixty six, okay. Two sixty six. Not too shabby. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, folks. So in closing, I know it. I think it kind of seems like we're a little underwhelmed right now, but this bow has a lot of potential. Honestly, it's one of those bows that it feels it feels fast, but this brace height. The way it holds just in here with the rest, just nothing on it. It has potential to be an amazing shooter. I just don't want to say anything that's that I don't believe yet, right? So I, I haven't shot it a lot. I want to build this bow and shoot it. And hopefully mine will come soon and we can do a follow-up video. Uh, this is the problem, in my opinion, with most bow reviews is the fact that I can only tell you so much with a bare bow and nothing on it, right? Like. I want to get into this bow more and that's why I have one coming. I think it has a ton of potential. I think this will be an amazing hunting bow. I think all these things, right? I don't know. So I don't want to say like, oh yeah, do this, buy this, spend this money. That's where like our kind of style of review comes in, right? Where we're a little more realistic with reviews. We're like, all bows feel good pretty much, you know, within, you know, all flagship bows are going to feel great. This bow feels like it's going to be a really fast, really nice hunting bow. Um, but until we have one that a customer isn't going to buy, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to put hundreds of shots on a bow that's you know to sell it to somebody. I, I just don't feel right doing that. And that's where you know working in a shop comes in, where we can get bows to build for ourselves. I mean, I want to take this bow to Punderson, build it up, shoot some groups at fifty to hundred, and see how it shines because I think it's going to do really, really well. Yeah, and the reality of it is, is that Elite is insanely behind on them. Yeah, like they're they're crazy behind. They released them however many months ago. We didn't get our demo until way late, yeah. and now we got like our stock orders, and they're way late. So yeah. it's one of those things where, like Joe said, I if a customer wants to buy it, I'm gonna sell it to you rather than keep it for myself. Like if you, if you're one of those people who needs the newest thing and you need it right away, like I'm here to serve you. That's mm -hmm. here you go. But for the extended thing, I, I couldn't agree more. Tons of potential. Yeah. Um, really looking forward to shooting this thing, and I'll probably end up getting one for myself too. Yeah. Um, but I will say the finish. I mean, the finish looks awesome. I've had I've had like one bugaboo from Elite, of probably a hundred oh, yeah. bows that I've gotten from them. Yeah. And you might have seen that in an earlier review. That is not typical Elite. Uh -uh. Typical Elite is flawless finishes. And yeah. The, this. The paintwork and the finish is perfect on the bow. Yeah. But yeah, su super, super excited. I feel like I say that phrase a lot in these videos, super we, excited. We are. I am, uh, yeah, I am pretty. <laughs> yeah, we are basically archery nerds, right? Like, I mean, if you saw the shorts, right, where we went through the bows that we have currently set up, like, we are junkies with this stuff. So, like, I don't want to tell you guys anything I don't, like, I don't feel right saying something that I don't believe 100%. And, like, I think this bow is going to be great. I think. So this is one I want to do a follow-up video on after I get mine, you get yours, and we get some arrows in them towards the end, before hunting season, hopefully. Cool. And if we get this video up soon, then this one might be here and for sale and for shoots. Yeah. Um, if we sell this one before this video is up, then we don't have one of our own for you guys to shoot because the one that we already got in is already sold. Yeah. Um, so 
We Stop on in soon. Give us a call. See if we still have it. Yeah. Um, I try to update our website somewhat frequently on uh, bows that we have in stock. Yeah. Um, yeah. Make sure you guys swing by for Saturdays, the kids club. We do a kids club on Saturdays. Yeah. Money which, shoot coming up maybe in time for this video. Yeah, who knows when I'm putting this video up. But every month we're doing a money shoot. So stay current with our Facebook. Make sure you, you got tabs on that. Um, payouts in three different classes, open, hunter, and bear, and uh, single string. Single string. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, kids club from 10 to 12, look for our Facebook. Like We'll put, a, put out a bunch of stuff with that. Anybody who's new to a bow, if you're under the age of 18 or whatever, come. It's 10 bucks, rental included. Yeah. So that's an awesome time to come check out the shop, bring the family, yeah. uh, send some arrows downrange. Yeah. Lessons, appointments, we try to do it all. And uh, we try to set up your stuff as well as we would set up our own stuff, which doesn't seem as common in the market. Um, so extra time is included and we like to do it. So we're in, I don't know, we're trying hard. Yeah. And as always, we appreciate the business and you guys watching these videos. Thank you for the support and have a great day. Like and subscribe. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We always forget that. Like, hey, you know what? This is the one time we're going to pander. Like and subscribe, please. Yep, this is it. This is the video. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> we don't even know when this is coming out, but please yeah. do. All right, see ya. Thanks, guys.